Hey everyone, before I get into today's video, I want to remind you to enter our Paper Mario the Origami King giveaway. To enter, all you need to do is comment on this video, like the video, subscribe to Nintendo Prime, and then hit the bell icon on the channel as well. You can do this on every single video from now through the end of July, and we'll announce the winner of that giveaway at the end of July. I wish all of you luck. Now the first video today, and I think I have a trifecta for you today, so stay tuned. A very unusual day where we're having three, three videos coming out. The first one though is going to deal with Nintendo and their plans for the rest of this year because there was the 80th uh, meeting of the investors yesterday. No, this is not a sales update kind of meeting. This was just kind of a, a general meeting of shareholders uh, where they go over things like you know electing different directors. I think Shigeru Miyamoto technically has a slightly new role at Nintendo, all that kind of stuff. But uh, we don't know what any of those new roles mean, so we can't really talk about what that means in the grander scheme. But what we can talk about is something that Shintura Furukawa answered from the investors, because they were wondering, hey, what's up with the pandemic? What's up with the coronavirus? And what's happening with the rest of the games for this year? Because right now, we've got an Animal Crossing New Horizons, then we got Paper Mario, and we don't know anything else. And Paper Mario actually comes out here in a few weeks. So what gives? Well, it turns out that Shintura Furukawa answered this quite directly, maybe to ease investors, but probably with the truth. And that is that none of their games currently slated or planned to be released in 2020 or fiscal year, the current fiscal year, so it technically runs through March of next year, have been delayed, a.k.a. All of the games that they have planned to come out from now through March 31st are right on schedule. Now, he did mention that anything after that, if a second wave hit, that games in the following fiscal year. So, you know, right after, you know, June of, of 2021 uh, through March of 2022 could see delays and could be affected. And he did mention that everyone at Nintendo is currently working at home. I think we understood that when we got the uh, Super Smash Bros. announcement and we got to see inside Masahiro Sakurai's home. That clearly, if he's working from home, the rest of Nintendo is likely working from home as well, even though technically Sakurai is an independent contractor. So what we learned from this is that nothing coming out this year is actually delayed. So then that leads us to guess what the hell gives? They didn't do a June presentation like they would have if E3 happened. And I think that's the key thing. If E3 was not canceled, we'd already know what's coming the rest of this year. But because it was, Nintendo has decided to do something different. And we don't know what that different is. We don't know if we're going to be getting a Nintendo Direct. They usually give the, give one in September. That feels a little late to not know anything happening in the second half of this year. But what is clear that is whatever they had planned for this year is still coming. We just don't know when they plan to announce it. Maybe they wanted to wait for PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X to blow their load. And PlayStation 5 just blew their load. We don't know yet with Xbox Series X. They're supposedly having an event next month. So then we should have a grander idea of what's happening there. And then maybe Nintendo will hit us with all their announcements after Paper Mario comes out. I'm not sure. Maybe they have something coming next week. Maybe they have something coming in a month. We don't know. It's also possible Nintendo decides to forego Nintendo Directs. We've talked about before where there's new management in charge. Shintaro Furukawa is not... Uh, you know, Takahashi is not, um, you know, Satoru Iwata. He could be doing something entirely different and try to scrap Nintendo Directs in favor of social media announcements. So trailer drops, commercials, uh, Twitter and Facebook, etc. They could be doing a lot of stuff like that, even TikToks if they really want to get experimental here, to announce different games. And they did this for Paper Mario, and I know Paper Mario is considered a spin-off, and they have yet to do this for like a major, major game. But what if the next time we saw Breath of the Wild 2 was through a trailer drop? You know, it, it's entirely possible that Nintendo won't be doing traditional Nintendo Directs the rest of this year, especially since everyone's working from home, and it's a lot harder to create a studio environment with multiple people uh, to try to get it done in a more professional way. We saw this with the Smash announcement, which while it felt professional, it also kind of had that homey vibe that they might not want to give a give with a nintendo direct so um yeah we're going to be seeing a bunch of game announcements and uh that leaves a lot to be speculated for the second half of this year nintendo has traditionally started years slow where there's only one or two games in the first half but they have a backloaded second half of the year 2017 kind of not be withstanding at the launch of switch so we could be seeing a lot of games in the second half. We could be seeing a Mario Kart 9. We could be seeing, you know, those HD Mario, uh, you know, rumors coming true. We could be seeing things like Breath of the Wild 2, which is technically an announced video game. We know it exists. It was announced at E3 last year. 
That could be a holiday title this year for all we know and is right on track to release with no delays. We just don't know what Nintendo's going to tell us. And that is a game we already know actually makes me wonder if that is going to be their holiday title. And it would kind of be the perfect, in my opinion, I know I'm a Zelda guy, uh, but the perfect game to announce as a holiday title. But uh, yeah, I guess uh, we don't really know for sure. But what we do know is that anything they had planned for this year is right on slate. Now, I know people are worried this year is going to be a repeat of 2018, maybe even worse because 2018 at least ended with Smash Bros. and Let's Go. Um, and we're not getting a new major Pokemon game this year. We are getting a new Pokemon Snap, which is cool. Uh, but we're not going to see like a new gen or another Let's Go uh, game come out. So it's going to be interesting to see what Nintendo's plans are for the rest of this year for the holidays and obviously at the very beginning of next year. Because again, they said fiscal year. So that includes all the way through March of next year. Of course, with anything, this leads us all to speculate on what could be coming. Are we going to see more Wii U ports? The Pikmin 3. Uh, Super Mario 3D World is obviously widely speculated to come. Some are even demanding for Devil's Third to come over. And that was some more polished. The game might not actually be that bad. My experience was it needs a lot more polish to not be that bad. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, it, it'll be interesting to see. You know, maybe we get more DLC for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe or an announcement of Mario Kart 9. Uh, maybe an ARMS 2 is coming, although it feels like we're probably going to get a Mario Kart 9 before we get an ARMS 2, but who knows at this point. We do have our ARMS character in Smash, so, I mean, yeah, congrats, Min Min, on making the cut there. Uh, I guess I should say congrats to the director of uh, ARMS who specifically picked that character to be in, but, yeah, I'm honestly um, just as baffled as you guys are what could be coming. We know Metro Prime 4 exists. That's been announced. Retro Studios is working on it. Do we really think that's going to be ready for this year? I don't know. Uh, we saw some No More Heroes 3 gameplay teased on Twitter a few days ago, although uh, the director of the game was kind of blocking it out. <laughs> um, so it was kind of a funny way to finally show off No More Heroes 3, but that might suggest that that game's on slate to come this year. We know Shin Megami Tensei 5 was announced for Switch, what, years ago at this point? Maybe that's on target to come this year. We know Octopath Travelers 2 is in development. Maybe that's on track to land this year from Square Enix. Uh, there's a lot of potential. Maybe we're getting Hyrule Warriors 2 coming out. After all, the last Warriors game we got was Fire Emblem Warriors, uh, but Hyrule Warriors was a lot more successful, you know, in terms of money and sales, and with Breath of the Wild being so popular, it might be time to drop that Hyrule Warriors uh, 2 game out there with a lot of Breath of the Wild content included. Uh, maybe even teases for Breath of the Wild 2, which would be crazy if they did that. Because uh, there's been something Zelda every year. Last year, Link's Awakening. The year before, Hyrule Warriors. The year before that, Breath of the Wild. Even though the Hyrule Warriors is a port, it was still something. So we're probably getting something Zelda this year. I just don't know what. Maybe it's just Skyward Sword HD. Or maybe we get an HD collection with Twilight Princess HD, Moonbreak HD, and Skyward Sword HD all packed in for 60 bucks. I think that would be a great value. That's 20 bucks per game. And we haven't had Skyward Sword officially in HD. Uh, although a lot of you ROM and emulator users out there already are well aware about what that game looks like in HD, and it's actually pretty gorgeous, even though the painter style was chosen because of the blurriness of Wii. Still, um, it looks even better in HD. Who knew? Almost every game looks better in HD. Uh, that being said, I, there's just a lot to speculate on, and I know I talked about a lot of potential ports and all that because they could fill out the year reports, but they might have already been planning to fill out this year reports. So whatever they were planning to do this year is still on slate, still scheduled. It is the 35th anniversary of Mario, so we could be seeing more Mario games coming out besides Paper Mario. I know there's that big rumor out there of getting a whole bunch of HD old Mario games, uh, you know, from the Galaxy games to Mario 64, I think is the big one. Some people are really excited to see what that looks like in HD. Uh, you know, if they're going to do more to it than just put it in HD like an emulator, if they're actually going to, like, remaster and remake it a little bit, like we've seen with Unreal Engine 4. I don't know. Uh, there's a lot to speculate on, and I want to know what games do you want to see this year? Remember... We could list every single IP and every single dream out there. Bayonetta 3, maybe that's landing this year, right? We could be just dream wishing the rest of this year, you know, a new wave race or something. But uh, we honestly, I think we need to look at this year, look at the, the, the last six months of the year, and maybe give us your realistic guesses at what's going to be coming. Personally, I'm still on that Breath of the Wild 2 hype, you know, thing you know game over jesse's put out some rumors about what's in that game from some trusted sources and if you know based on what we're hearing from those rumors that game sounds like it's really far along and uh breath of the wild 2 could very well be the holiday game and i'm gonna i'm gonna stick with that hope even though i don't know if it's happening i don't have my own sources on it uh but breath of the wild 2 for holiday makes sense it's one of the few games i think nintendo could drop that could actually compete with that xbox series x and playstation 5 hype and take some of that away because remember 
Breath of the Wild is widely considered either game of the current generation or game of the next generation. Um, it is one of the best and highest reviewed games of all time, even topping Ocarina of Time, depending on which sites you're looking at. So, anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Robochans from Nintendo Prime. I want to remind you to enter our giveaway for a copy of Paper Mario, the Origami King. Remember, just comment, like this video, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It feels great to be back. I got to say, I'm looking pretty fly today. I don't know. How about you guys? You, you like this get up? I mean, the next video will be like just a standard t-shirt, but I got to say, uh, liking the little the little wing tips here and when you're looking good you're looking good and i'll catch all of you guys in the next video